the reversible reaction ethanoic acid so basically this is the back reaction of the first reaction that I've written over here this is simply the back reaction but to explain it to you this is the reaction taking place so as I increase the concentration of H plus ions by adding an acid Le Chatelier's principle will apply Le Chatelier's principle is what we learned in the last playlist of equilibria so Le Chatelier's principle will apply so the system will act to oppose the increase in the amount of H plus ions and hence the amount of H plus ions will decrease as more of ethanoic acid will be formed so there will be no overall change in the pH now when I add a base or an alkali then it will have OH negative ions the alkali will have OH negative ions so in that case it will react with ethanoic acid so for example if I add sodium hydroxide then the NaOH will act with, uh, with will react with the ethanoic acid to give me in not a reversible but a complete reaction it will give me sodium ethanoate plus water so again I have not there is no significant change in the pH because I, as soon as I added the OH negative ions, the pH uh, could have increased, but the OH negative ions reacted with the ethanoic acid to give me sodium ethanoate plus water. So there will be no overall change in the pH because OH negative ions will not increase. As soon as they are added, they will react. So the concentration of OH negative ions will not increase and hence the pH will not change. So we have seen how the solution resists change in its pH when small amounts of acids or bases are added. So we have done this part as well. So calculating the pH of a buffer solution. So for this we use something that is called the henderson hasselbach equation. So this is basically this equation is pH is equal to pKa which is the acid dissociation constant uh, the, the, the negative log 10 of the acid dissociation constant so pH is equal to pKa plus log 10 of A negative which is the conjugate base and the concentration of the acid which is HA. So if, a, if HA is the acid then A negative will be the con conjugate base because if HA is a weak acid then it will partially dissociate to form H plus ions and A negative ions. But in my buffer solution along with the weak acid I am using a salt solution of the conjugate base so it will be Na plus plus A negative so there will be excess concentration of A negative ions there will be excess concentration of HA so what will happen is that uh, pH will be equal to the uh, to pKa which is negative log 10 so I can if I simplify this it will be negative log 10 Ka plus log 10 A negative concentration of A negative ions over the concentration of H plus ions of HA sorry not H plus but HA which is the weak acid so this is the Henderson Hasselbach equation and uh, we will be doing how we uh, we will be seeing how we use this uh, while calculating the pH of a buff buffer solution but I want you to learn this so that you can use this formula so now we have an exercise on buffer solutions so the first question is a buffer solution is to be made using 1 mole per dm cube of ethanoic acid uh, CH3CO2H and 1 mole per dm cube of sodium ethanoate which is CH3CO2Na. So calculate to the nearest 1 centimeter cube the volumes of each solution that would be required that would be required to make 100 centimeter cube of a buffer solution with pH 5.5 clearly show all your steps in your working so the first step they have given the value of Ka so the first step is to write the two re reactions taking place so one reaction is giving me H plus aqueous plus 
एथनोइट आयन्स आर क्वेश्चन